Hi y'all, I'm Kevin from Gemini Outdoors and today we will be evaluating the Cobalt Large Multi-Tool. I bought this multi-tool at Lowe's for around $10. Well, with this evaluation, uh, you know, I normally try to do test videos or demo videos, but for this particular uh, product, I'm not going to do that. Um, you know, you could, I could sit here and waste your time by showing you me, just by showing you, you know, like whittling or something, you know, like that. So, with multi tools in particular, uh, I'm probably not going to do any uh, test or demo uh, videos with. Uh, just because you know it's kind of a waste of time um, what I'll probably do with them is uh, take them out use them uh, see if the if, if the tool is going to hold up after some some hard use and then I'll just report back to you and you can take my word for it or you can go out and try to find other videos which I try to do I try to in the word of mouth part of the evaluation I try to find some uh, find you know other reviews about it and then I'll put them in my locked list and that way at least somebody can get on there and see see it being used but unfortunately with this one uh, I couldn't find any any uh, videos on YouTube or anything like that um, to put in my locked list uh, to do that so uh, I feel kind of bad about that but it's just it, it just is what it is you know I, and you know I, I just uh, like I said I don't want I don't want to waste your time and uh, you just sitting there watching me whittling on a stick with a with a knife blade and you know and then you know like, what kind of test you, you know am I gonna you know I, I'll try to figure something out to do some testing on multi tools I promise I will but uh, for this one I'm not I'm not gonna do anything I don't believe I did uh, I think I did some for the uh, one for the Ozark Trail uh, multi-tool, but it really wasn't all that good, and that's what led me to, to not want to do this one the same way. So I'm gonna figure out some some stuff, so maybe a few little uh, uh, demonstration videos, maybe for the tool in the future. But just for this video, uh, we're not gonna have none. So sorry about that, folks. But it's just what it is. Okay guys, so uh, what I'm going to do here is uh, I'm going to do, I said I wasn't going to do a demo, but I'm going to go ahead and just kind of show the tool off, the Cobalt Large Multi-Tool. So the very first thing, there's the pliers. Sorry, I'm trying to get this all in frame. They got cutters on them. They are not the kind that come off. They're not detachable. Over here on the side, Here's your saw blade. I'm not going to lock it. It does have a liner lock in there. I don't know if you can see it or not, but they do have liner locks to them. So when you open this, it will come over and lock right there. I think you can see it. All of the blades on this knife, uh, or on, excuse me, on this tool comes this way. So you just push it over and it'll, it'll shut so it doesn't uh, close on your hand. Let me try to get all these tools out at once. So, all right. So you got, I believe this is an awl right here. I'm not sure if you can see it or not. I'm trying to get my hands out with it. I believe that's an awl. This is a can opener. And then of course you got the file right there. Over here on this other side, once again, you have a liner lock with the blades here. So you got the serrated, blade right here you got a bottle opener and a small flathead screwdriver you have a plain edge knife blade right there you have a I don't know if you've seen a can opener or not here let me open this up a little bit there's a can opener right there and then you got a Phillips head screwdriver head uh, tool right there and then you got your plain edge knife and that's all of them. Uh, I really, I really do like the tool. I like the liner lock feature in, inside here as well, so it doesn't shut on your hands. That's a, a definite plus. So there it is, guys. Uh, demoing the Cobalt Large Multi Tool. Okay, I got this uh, multi tool. Uh, like I said, at Lowe's, uh, my primary theory of use 
uh, for this multi-tool is for a survival multi-tool. Um, a secondary uh, use or theory of use for this could be as a urban multi-tool, uh, maybe in a get home bag, something of that nature. It's too big and too heavy really for EDC. I'm sure there's guys out there who could EDC it, uh, say for w their work or something like that. But for me, it's just, it's just too big and too heavy. Uh, it did come with uh, this pouch. Um, I do like the pouch. It's just a plain Jane nylon pouch. Uh, the tool fits in it uh, fairly well. And uh, of course, you can just throw it on your belt, and it'll be all right. From my from my theory of use, I'm gonna have this probably in a backpack. Excuse me, uh, and just have the weight in the backpack instead of on my belt because you don't you really don't want to have too much weight on your belt uh, when you're walking around in the woods. Uh, the specifications for the uh, Cobalt large multi tool: the weight is eight ounces. Uh, the length is four inches closed and seven inches open. Uh, the width is uh, 1.75 inches, and when I say width, I'm talking about from one side over here to the other. The thickness, which is this, is 0.75 inches. The tools include a set of pliers with built-in cutters, a plain edge blade, a Phillips head screwdriver, a can opener with chisel, serrated edge blade, a saw blade, a flathead screwdriver, an owl, and a file. Uh, positive aspects of the Cobalt Large Multi-Tool. Uh, I like the, capacity, the capability of this tool and I also uh, like the pouch. I like the amount of tools that you get in here. The tools are, are actually pretty good. The uh, knife, it's the, the knife blades are actually a liner lock, um, which I also like. The uh, I believe the Ozark Trail multi-tool did not have that feature. It was just a slip joint. So this one has an actual liner lock in it that uh, locks the blade in place when you, and that can be really good, especially uh, when you're out in the woods and stuff. Um, like I said, I also, I like the pouch, but it's just a plain Jane top deal. Um, moving on to the negative aspects of the tool is the size of this tool makes it hard to EDC, especially for, for just everyday carry. It's just way too big, you know, and um, I, I just, you know, I, I wouldn't want something that heavy on my on my body unless I was using using it for my actual job, my work. Then I might EDC it on my, you know, on my uh, waist just to, uh, like I said, you know, you, you just, if you just have to have it and you're using it constantly. Um, mobility will be an issue with this um, with this tool. So that's why my primary TOU for it is for survival blade where I can just put it in a pack and the weight, you know, it'll still be an issue but not nearly as much as it would be for EDC. Um, word of mouth is I couldn't find any reviews of this particular multi-tool on YouTube. And uh, you know, I looked around for a solid hour or two just trying to, just looking at different multi-tools to see if it possibly got on there, and um, it wasn't. So I really can't give you anything about word of mouth. The only thing I can really tell you is, uh, you know, what my experiences are with it. I have used it um, some in my, you know, in di doing different tests and stuff out in the backyard, and the tool seems to hold up pretty well to the test that I was doing with it. So here we go. The eval card for performance on the cobalt large multi-tool I gave it a 9 out of 10 reliability I gave it a 9 out of 10 it seems to be well built durability 8 out of 10 um, just for the fact that there are a few tools in it that are, are kind of skinny and they might end up you know getting damaged after some heavy usage so that's why I marked down an extra point on that one value I gave it a 10 out of 10 uh, try to find, like I said, a multi-tool like this around, other than an Ozark Trail one. Um, there's probably a few out there, uh, you know, a store brand like this one, you know, Cobalt. But uh, as far as, you're not going to find a Leatherman at this size or a Gerber at this size um, at that price point. You're, it's going to be really hard to find one at 10 bucks. Um, 
Versatility, I gave it a 10 out of 10. Uh, if I didn't mention the value, it's 10 out of 10. Uh, compatibility, I gave it an 8 out of 10. Simplicity, I gave it an 8 out of 10. Maintenance, an 8 out of 10. Uh, theory of use, 9 out of 10. And lockability, I gave it a 9 out of 10 for an overall score of 88 out of 100 for a letter grade of B. And it did not make the Ass Kickers Club. So, it's a good tool, just uh, not quite good enough. Uh, my recommendations to the manufacturer is if you're going to make this for EDC, which I, I kind of don't think it's for that, um, you need to lighten the tool some. Maybe take some of the, the tools that you're not really going to use that much out of it. Um, but really, I mean, when I look at it, and uh, you know, the, the, that's what I like about it is the capability that it has. So lighten the tool some, maybe, maybe you know, um, adjust your materials that you use in it, something like that. Uh, my recommendation to my audience is that I recommend this multi-tool. Um, in closing, uh, I like the capability and I like the tools that are in this large multi-tool. Um, it gives you a lot of capability. Um, the thing that I dislike about it is the weight and the size. Uh, it's, especially if you're going to EDC something like this, which you're, you know I'm not going to do. I'm, I'm using that for survival uh, TOU. So, you know, really, uh, I think this is about as good as it's going to get as far as uh, you know doing things with it. Uh, you know, I might. I want to say that you know I, I would I'm, I'll, I'll probably end up using this in a, in a, in one of my in my survival system for a while. But if I end up upgrading to something like a Gerber or like a Leatherman or something like that, uh, I'll probably this will probably come out. But I do like the features on it as far as the liner lock for the knife blades on it. I think that's a really good thing. Um, and that's pretty much it, folks. Uh, I think it's a good tool, and uh, we'll catch you later.